Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been doing the keto diet for eight weeks now and I am down a little over 18 pounds. So in this eight weeks, I had one cheat day. It was right after my six week mark. I had a four hour stretch where I went crazy and ate all kinds of sugar. You can go back and look at my video about it. Um, it was bad. So after that little four hour cheat, it has taken me two weeks to get back into ketosis, but I am finally there. I can feel it the last couple of days. I've been peeing like crazy. I mean, the same symptoms that I went through the first 10 days happened to me in the last three days, and I really feel like I'm pretty much back in ketosis now. I stepped on the scale this morning, and I weighed, I have a little cheat sheet because I can't remember everything. So this morning I weighed, where am I? Okay, finally back, 151.4. So I almost lost another two pounds from my six week mark. At my six week mark before my cheat day, I was 153.2. So before that, the first 10 days, the first week, I lost a lot of water weight. And then it was almost like two pounds a week once I got into ketosis. So now it's almost another two pounds. So I think I'm really coming back on track. So when I started this journey back eight weeks ago, I weighed 169.6 pounds. So this morning, like I said, I was down to 151.4, so that is 18.2 pounds in eight weeks. My body fat percentage when I started was 30.7%, and this morning it was 26.6%, so I'm down 4.1% body fat. And my muscle mass was 28.6, and this morning it was 29.9. And being knocked out of ketosis for almost a week and a half, that's not too bad. So during my last video, my recipe video, I gave a shout out to somebody on Facebook who told me to do beef and butter. I think I might have a picture of the beef and butter. I made a whole bunch of that, Tupperwares. I did that for three days just with my keto coffee bulletproof coffee and that really got me right back into ketosis so next time I cheat I'm gonna go straight to the beef and butter like right after what happened my mistake was I thought that I would just pop right back into ketosis I could just do what I was doing before my cheat day and I'd be right back and that did not work I learned the hard way it took a while to get back into ketosis I really almost had to like start over I, I those three days with the the beef and the butter I was really only doing like five grams of carbs, if that, maybe, probably not even. So that really got me back into ketosis fast. So next cheat day, I will go straight to beef and butter afterwards, and I think I'll just go right back in, into ketosis. Not ready to try that again yet, but when I do, I will definitely let you guys know. Okay, so let me get back into intermittent fasting. Trying to get back into ketosis, I figured it was a good time to try intermittent fasting. I hated it. I wasn't happy. In order to do intermittent fasting, you can't have your keto coffee in the morning. You just have to have black coffee, and I cannot drink black coffee. It was disgusting. So I stick to things that make me happy. I'm not going to torture myself. My little enjoyments that I have, my coffee in the morning, I'm not going to deprive myself of that. So intermittent fasting went out the window pretty fast for me. The technical form. I mean, I still usually don't eat until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's starting yesterday. I started doing that again. But during the time I was trying to get back into ketosis, I was eating a lot more. I was hungry in the morning. You know, it took me a while to get back in. But now that I'm back in, I'm sure I'll be back on track where I really don't eat until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But I do have two cups of coffee. Something that happened. When I started the black coffee, when I tried the intermittent fasting, I tried making, after I couldn't do the black coffee anymore, I tried just putting the MCT oil in, the powder that I have, and the collagen powder. And it was a little more palatable, but still not great. So then I added the butter. So now I've actually eliminated heavy cream from my morning coffee because I guess I suffered with that black coffee for a few days and that was pretty bad. So then when I started adding in the butter and the MCT powder and the collagen powder, 
it was so much better than the black that I actually was able to eliminate heavy cream. So I think that's a little healthier for me, just sticking with butter, MCT oil, and collagen in my morning two cups of coffee. I really think that was all I had to update you guys on. Just the struggle getting back into ketosis. I am finally back in, so all you haters can hate when I say the weight just starts falling off again and I'm not even trying. Believe me, I suffered. I suffered for two weeks. So you saw like the real struggle it was to try to get back into ketosis. But once you are there, I'm telling you, it is so easy. There's no cravings. It's like you're not even trying. All right, guys, I think that's all I have to update you with this week. Um, please like, share my video, anybody that you know that's interested in the keto diet, anybody that likes keto recipes, comment down below. Let me know if you like my videos, any ideas, anything else you think I should talk about. And please subscribe to my channel. I still only have like 32 subscribers. It's going up just a little bit here and there, but I have to reach a thousand. That's my goal. And I don't care how long it takes me. I'm going to keep doing these videos and you're going to keep suffering and seeing them pop up on your Facebook feeds. That's another thing. I need to get more Instagram savvy. I spoke to an old friend today and his wife is big on Instagram and he said I should start doing more stories. So I'm going to try to do more of that and try to bring some more people over to YouTube that way. But please, I mean, just make an account. If you don't have an account and you want to like and it says you need to sign in, just make an account through Google, make a Gmail account, and just subscribe and follow me. All right, guys, have a great day.